Before I'd begun to focus producing my short film, I had to first understand the importance of their conventions and make these applicable to the task in hand. Research into these conventions was difficult as there were many different definitions found for the term short film, especially due to their allowance of artistic licence. Utilising sites known for their short films, such as the BFI, I found a trustworthy set of established requirements that would apply to the foundation of short films that I knew I could rely on. Short films are commonly set between a time frame of 1 to 40 minutes. This remains an average slot, however some directors may expand or decrease this time to elaborate on storyline. These films are usually created by small independent filmmakers working upon a low budget. Targeted at niche audiences, these implications mean that they tend to carry a unique and artistic structure. Plots may infer a twist or cliffhanger to grasp the attention of an audience. Short films don't specify genre due to their aim to create critical success rather than overall consumerism. Therefore, the spectrum of ideas are limitless along with their targeted audiences, which would explain their reputation of being a creative form. My short film happens to focus on the genre of social realism. Due to my strengths last year in AS, I felt that this would be an appropriate genre to work and extend improvements throughout the course of production. Conventions of my genre state that a film of this type must include aspects of realism, for example being set in a location that is recognisable to the audience. An example of this is conveyed in the short film Just Say Hi by John MacPhail. His immediate use of a bus stop as his main location creates a realistic perspective of the narrative and the audience can assume that these things do or could happen in their own surrounding area. I have incorporated this convention all the way through my own film to emphasise the significance my locations have upon my protagonist and how this influences her decisions throughout, as well as regarding that these problems are observed by everyone day to day. Additional conventions in which I have conformed to include non-professional actors creating a characterisation of anyone sat in the audience, generating a realistic effect and pursuing a relationship between the audience and the film. Progress of my film creates a relatable storyline for an audience, highlighting representation of problems that exist today. Themes typically incorporate money, drugs, class, religion and politics. My short film is inspired by many texts and research into a site called Virgin Shorts. This site is packed full of films that would inspire every genre, therefore it was hard to choose which to analyse previous to defining my narrative. Picking up on three of these shorts created a sense of development in my own work as I began to produce more and more ideas after the effects of conventions were visualised. My favourite of the three I had analysed was named Touch. I focused on the impression of the past, present and future and how this text illustrates the differences between them. I wanted to pursue a message through a single protagonist and this is how I would depict the image. Mise-en-scene and editing was used to connote a clear juxtaposition and highlight how each factor of the past could either illuminate pure joy or employ depth and despair into my film. I was to connote the decisions of a young homeless protagonist and use the colour, makeup, and change in actress throughout this text to create a more thorough idea of how I was to present this. These flashbacks would also follow modular, modular narratives by Alan Cameron. My short film expresses anachronic development. Throughout my film, flashbacks are used to present a sense of context, but are used with no major dominance over the rest of the film. This symbolises how fast or slow time passes. The final film I had analysed, Love Field, was the complete opposite to social realism. The hybrid short developed connotations of both horror and drama genres, However, I considered how implements of editing and narrative became useful to shock or change the perspectives of an audience, something that I had thought about arranging once I decided the progress of my own storyline. This text executed a twist perfectly, something that I knew was going to be particularly challenging to do in a film based upon real life. But with subtlety, I attempted to represent my character's depression with a conclusion of my film. My short film both conforms and subverts its position in Bath's Code, a theory categorised into five individual narrative codes. 
My film initiates both action and enigma codes throughout the entire piece, connoted through flashbacks. An audience member will receive answers to their questions ongoing throughout my film, as themes on homelessness are developed by short clips of my protagonist's past, creating a reasoning for her further addiction to drink and drugs in relation to her mother, piecing each part of her life together to create a narrative.